All right, what's going on guys? So today I am back at you with yet another character overview. Today we're gonna be doing Lucy, okay? Um, and I just wanna go over her changes real quick like I did with Mika, so let's let's start. So the first thing she got is a quality of life change. Let's so her stun is increased from 975 to 1000 now. Okay, so that would take that, I guess. Uh, her stand and light kick, they reduced the um, hit back and they reduced the pushback on block, so. This is what it looks like. Now you can do like four. See, I did four without moving. That's good. I mean, I already really didn't have much pushback anyway, but okay. Um, they reduced the hit back on her crouching light kick and the pushback on block as well. So I think now I can get like two before I'm spaced out too far. See, maybe three if he's crouching because you know her box gets fatter. Um, her crouching medium kick. They extended the cancel window by one frame. So that's pretty good. You know, we have a little longer to cancel it, which goes into another change later on. Um, her crouching light kick. They extended the hitbox forward and they reduced the pushback on block. And they also increased the, or decreased the startup. Um, it went from nine frames to eight frames. So that's a buff, slight stuff. And the entire move um, has been shortened from 32 frames to 31 frames. So, you know, that's pretty good. Quality life change again. Now her EX gun smoke, um, two frame faster timing for um, derivative attacks, excluding breaking. So basically what this allows you to do is this. You can do this now. Oops, the combos, see? And you can do that. So. That's pretty good. It allows you to do that. Um, what else they do? EX Rogue Chase. They reduce the knockback distance on mid-air hit. So that's like kind of gives you like better Oki. Doesn't knock them so far back. Now the next change that she got is they increase the damage of her EX Firecracker from uh, and uh, EX and V Trigger from 30 to 50, and then the stun from 30 to 50 as well. So again, quality of life changes. Nothing I really can you know need to show off, I guess, per se. Um, so let me just let me just see let me just see something let me make sure <laughs> firecrackers are topsy right I gotta double check oh her fireball okay yeah yeah yep so they increased the uh, the firecracker which is this and V trigger so from EX and V trigger to 50 see? okay um, you know I get some of her moves confused I ain't gonna lie sometimes I have to look. So now flipper shot, EX flipper shot, um, can now be canceled into firecracker by pressing two kicks. So basically what this is, is you can, when you do, you know how you do this? Now if you do two kicks, you get an EX fireball. So you can do a different direction. So. Okay. Pretty, pretty quality life change. I mean, it's okay. Nothing spectacular. Um, so now her V skill one, tap kicks. They shorten the starter from nine to eight frames, just like her sweep. And the entire move on a whiff or block is shortened from 46 to 45, so very small changes. No change in frame advantage, to frame advantage, it says. Okay. So her V trigger one, or normal, you know, EX, um, V skill, or V skill EX numbing needle, which is her V skill two. They expanded the uh, hitbox upwards on the second and third hit, extended the collision box up forward for the second hit follow up, uh, for, the, for when the second attack follows up, and they sped up the second attack startup by one frame. So again, small stuff. They didn't do nothing, like anything interesting to that. So EX numbing needle. Um, they extended the hitbox forward on the fifth frame. Again, nothing impressive. Uh, her uh, hammer knuckle, her V reversal. They decreased the pushback on block. They didn't extend the hip, the hit range on it though. The hit range is really bad. She actually might have the worst strike V reversal in the game. It whips all the time. But you know, they they nerfed it by um, decreasing the pushback on block instead of. I would have took the decrease on block, but also the range increase. You know, so it can actually hit, and you can then be in close to him instead of getting a full combo punished. And then the next thing, which is the last thing, is they increase the damage of her critical art from 340 to 360 when she's in B trigger one. So I'll just show that real quick. I mean, quality of life change. I'll just actually show it normally. Right. See. 340. 340. Right. Fun B trigger though. A 20 extra damage might not seem like much, but it matters when you're trying to kill. A lot of times you do that with Lucia and they're still alive, so. So yeah, those are all the Lucia changes. Now, I do want to tell you how I feel about her. Do I think she's viable or not, okay? So, the first time Lucia got a balance change, right? Like, it was very minor stuff, like quality life change. You remember the patch where everybody got vitality and stun buffs? They buffed Lucia's V trigger one. That was like the best thing she got here. The best thing she got was um, low forward into EX Gunsmoke, which is her run, and her CA being 20 extra damage more than it was before if you're in V Trigger 1. Um, so the first time around, you know, I didn't really say anything. I'm like, okay, I don't think Capcom really knew what Lucia needed, right? That was my thoughts. I, didn't, I don't think they knew what she needed at first. 
But then they came out with the second patch after, you know, over a year of Lucia being out. Right? And I gotta say, honestly, it's pretty disappointing, uh, the changes they did to Lucia. Um, I was really hoping that, you know, I kept my expectations low. I guess I wasn't hoping anything. I just didn't think they would not, they didn't give Lucia not even one thing she needed, guys. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, I'm not trying to be mean to Capcom. I'm not trying to, like, talk smack. They didn't give her one thing she needed, not even one. Like, the, the CA stuff and the EX gun smoke. Those are cool, but they didn't give her anything she needed. And she already wasn't a good character to begin with. So what do I think about Lucia this season? I think she's either going to be just as just as bad as she was before, or she's going to be a little lower. Because they didn't give her anything she needed. The stuff she needs is better Oki. She should be able to combo this in without counter hit. You know, um, run up kick should give you, it shouldn't push you so far back. It should be like similar to EX, where like you're kind of close, you know? She should be able to do like, she should be able to do this combo right here, mid-screen, like, like I'll show you what I'm talking about, right? So, like this, so if I do a jump in, my bad, my bad, let me do the EX one. See, you should be able to do this mid-screen, because normally, like, if I get a jump in, I'm doing that. Not much, not much damage, as opposed, and then if I spin the bar, and then her, and then her damage, like I said, is kind of low outside of V-Trigger, like, Normally, like, let's say I get a counter hit cross medium. It's like 2, 2, 28. And then if I want to get, like, um, you know, bigger damage, I gotta do something like this. I'm spending 300, I'm spending 2 bars for 300 damage, which people get for free off of meterlessly jump-ins, you know what I'm saying? Like, even, like, her normal jump-in combo. It's like 3, like, 283. And then her mediums do, like, 10 less damage than everyone else's. I don't know. Lucia has, like, and then her B-Scale 1, like, this should be minus 8 on block. Or, I'm sorry, it should be minus 4 from minus 8 on block. And then the, the V-Meter gain on block should be a little better. Like, slightly better. And then it should also be plus 2 in canceling the V-Trigger. I made a video on it, actually. You know what? I made a video on it. And I made a Twitter post. Um, I don't think Capcom really knew what they were doing with Lucia, to be honest. Um, there they are Lucia players. They ain't, they, ain't a, they ain't a lot of us, but there's a nice amount of us. There's more people wanting to play her. If you guys recall, Lucia was actually... The most popular character out when um, her Honda and Poison came out, and they just literally, they they people dropped her because you know she wasn't really that good and she was fun, she has potential, but Capcom didn't give her the things they need. And I don't really know what Capcom is looking at with Lucia, you know what I'm like like it's to me it's a bit confusing because I made you know like I made th threads, other people have made threads. There's a Lucia Discord, you can go on CFN right, and you can type in you can like, let me show you how easy it is to find out. Find characters real quick. Let me just show you real quick. It's very easy to figure out what, what she needs. You can just do something like this. Go to ranking, right? You can hit L1, right? Then I can select the character. So I can go, let's see. Let's go to Lucia. Where's she at? Lucia, right here. Wow, voila, right? And voila, what do you see? You see all these Lucia players here. All you have to do is just watch the replays. You can see, you can get a good idea of what Lu what's, what's going on with Lucia. You know, like, you can get a good idea of what she may or may not need. I don't think they're doing this. I don't think they're going to CFN or VN replays. You know, I don't think they're watching tournaments as, as much. Like, you know, I was in a CPT tournament last year and I almost got top eight. I didn't get top eight because I lost due to a Lucia inconsistency. I did Firecracker, the, the enhanced one, into EXDP. And it visually looked like it should have hit and it didn't. Right. I don't know if they saw that or not because they didn't do nothing about that. You know, they don't, her combos are also inconsistent too. Especially, like, um, her V-Trigger Tatsu. It's a fireball mid screen. A lot of times that whips, so you have to do like DP or you have to do EX run V skill or up kick. I just don't think it's hard for for them to kind of go around and just like watch CFN replays. I don't know what data they're getting. Like it just to me, with this Lucia change, it feels like a big disconnect. You know, like it seems like they had no idea at all what they were doing when they buffed Lucia because these changes are not. None of these changes are what Lucia needed at all. Not even one change that she got here is what she needed. I'm not even exaggerating. Like. I kept my expectations low, so I'm not mad about it, but it's just very, it sucks. It does suck. It does suck. You know, it's like, keep your expectations low, but you're still disappointed kind of thing. Like that meme, right? <laughs> so, I don't know. Like, I guess the Mika buffs kind of like made me happy, but it's like the Lucia changes. It's like, man, they didn't do not one thing she needed. A part of me is hoping that they do a, a 0.5 patch before fall, but I doubt it. You know, maybe they'll patch out the Dan Infinite, but about to see. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Um, I will see you guys later. Let me know what you thought. Leave a thumbs up. It does help the YouTube algorithm. All right.
Peace out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.